So yeah, didn't mean for this latest batch of videos to take so long to get out. You want to know the honest truth? I was just busy, and frankly, one day I just, I honestly just didn't feel like doing it. You know, that, that's what happens to you map videos for so long. Sometimes you just sit there and you're like, you know, I, I really don't feel like playing Half-Life today. Which is weird, because Half-Life is the best thing ever. And that makes it sound like I've, I, I'm not enjoying doing these map videos anymore, which is honestly not true. Just, you know, been doing them so long, sometimes you just, you need, you need to just not do them, you know? <laughs> anyway, but we're back. I got three, hopefully today, three custom Half-Life maps for you. And then we're possibly next time, maybe this time, we're going to be moving back on to Deathmatch Classic 3-Wave. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, this is Dead Dust 2, which is uh, D-Dust 2 from Counter-Strike. Like, literally, they took that map and they they put Half-Life stuff in it. Um, D-Dust 2, um, I haven't played Counter-Strike much. That's a lie, actually. I did play Counter-Strike quite a bit back in the day. I've always been terrible at it. It's been like, it's like you know, a hot dog, pile of dog shit at it. Um, and I ain't going to really talk about the map itself like the development the history because i'd be better reserved for a theoretical counter-strike map series which isn't happening i'm not saying i'm just saying theoretically i you know you don't want me talking about counter-strike ever uh here's the read me so yeah it is literally d dust 2 with an like a uh, score here it's not underscore what is that a dash i actually fucking forget what the, what is this it's oh no Oh no, I'm, I'm failing basic English, never mind. Uh, date was June uh, 30th, 2008 by, it was, uh, the conversion was done by someone named Dead Dimitri K. I don't know if it's supposed to be Dead Dimitri K or Dead, also known as Dimitri K. Probably not important. Deathmatch? Yes. Recommended players 6 to 14, which is good because I'm playing with 8, as always. Map description. Copy of Mass DDoS 2 from Game Counter-Strike for Game Half-Life 1. Yes, that's what it is. Thank you. Uh, this is a very good conversion, by the way. I actually enjoy this. Pro I probably enjoyed this the few times I played this in Half Life more than I ever did in Counter Strike. I'm not trying to shit on Counter Strike. I'm just I'm terrible at it. So you know I'm I'm just too stupid to play that. Let's peek it out. So yeah, anyway, here uh let's peek this out. You got a med kit in the corner here. You got an SMG, which you know is good. It's fun. You also got a rocket launcher, even more fun. Uh, you can jump onto the crates, obviously. I don't know if you could you ever jump on these uh crates like you know the. Top ones. In this map you can because you can gauze jump and stuff like that. And if there was collision set to like, you know, invisible walls blocking you from doing that originally in the original map, they sure shit ain't here now. So you grab the crossbow, which, you know, considering that this is based off of, uh, this is from Counter-Strike, not based off of, this is literally from Counter-Strike, crossbow could be extremely effective here. I don't really think I'm telling you that, though. If you want to grab that battery med kit without the gauze, you gotta jump down from the ledge there, no problem. That's easy shit. Uh, grab a shotgun, which can be useful here. You got this little room that, you know, I've spent, so I've, uh, there's a significant amount of my, uh, like, you know, time in this game coming through this hole and immediately dying because I suck at this game. Uh, but, you know, again, I'm, I'm just repeating at this point. You grab some batteries, too. You got to do a little bit of a, it's, you got to kind of jump like that. I don't know if you could do that in regular Counter-Strike. If you come down this way, same, you can get some med kits. Although, you could just grab them. The hitbox is big enough, you grab them automatically. Probably the same for those batteries, I'm just too stupid. Just like the crossbow, the uh, revolver can be stupid effective here. But again, not really teaching anything there. Grab another uh, SMG if you need it. You can come this way. I can't remember what bomb site this is, I don't know if it's A or B. Don't really care. Uh, grab the rocket launcher ammo here. Actually, it, no, it doesn't say. I thought it would say like on a- I thought it was spray painted or something. Have I misremembered? Possibly. You grab a crossbow here. Uh, you can gauze up to there later, but you can get on the crates, but you can't actually go any farther. There's an invisible wall there, which makes sense. It's the limit of the map. Uh, but you can get onto this crate, and you can grab some supplies there. You can grab the battery. Uh, unlike in Counter-Strike, uh, you can actually get back onto this. Uh, you can actually come both ways. Usually in Counter-Strike by itself, you can only go one way, but here... Wait, no. Wait. No, I swear you can't go this way in Counter-Strike. You have to... You can come this way, right? Where there's a rocket launcher. Yes, 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 yes. Because this is the only place you can jump in Counter-Strike. You, you gotta take this shit right here. You gotta do that. Uh, but in uh, Counter-Strike, normal, I'm pretty sure you can't jump up here. But you can here, because it's Half-Life. And Half-Life slaps my titties. So yeah, grab the other SMG there, too. Come through the door here. Be careful, like I said. Very good chance someone's got the shotgun... Or not the shotgun, crossbow or, like, a revolver already. But here you go. You got the gauze now. And, like, there's gonna be several places you can actually get onto that you couldn't in the original map. Which is cool, it's fun, I like it. Come, if you need some bad, um, as, like, AR ammo. I mean, sorry, not AR. 
I'm thinking of the high definition pack. Gross. If you need some SMG grenades or batteries, go there. You can all. This is where we came from earlier with the revolver there. That's cool beans. I like it. Uh, let's come back this way now. Uh, here's one of the spot points. I think this is where the terrorists spawn. Um, I'm not sure though. There is a long jump here. There's actually quite a few long jumps here, which is cool. And like I said, here you go. You can't do this in Counter Strike. We can get on the boxes in Counter Strike. Eh, 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 eh. Anyway, enough of that. Come back up here, grab some ammo, grab some med kit, grab another revolver if you need it. Good times are need for all. I have absolutely no idea what that says. He looks concerned though. He probably just saw a fly turn into Godzilla. That's not a good time. Uh, come up here, grab the crossbow, which again, if I haven't mentioned already three or four times, you know, this is a good open map for like snipers or something. There you go. But yeah, if you come this way, there's a crate there. Some more supplies with a rocket launcher. Obviously effective in all situations, unless you don't, like, you're in a non-rocket launcher server. Which I don't think exists. I made that up. Never mind. Um, but besides that, you can come over here to grab some batteries, some more SMG. Always good SMG and some grenades and some ammo for the gauze. You know, keep in mind here, there's a lot of shenanigans that have been going on in that, go like, little hole area down there. I'm sorry, what, what would you call that? Alleyway? I don't know what you'd call it. Anyway, grab the battery here. Grab the rockets. Grab some good old satchel charges. That's always fun, guaranteed for all. Here's a door that's the bane of my existence. I always died. Like, I could literally not step through this on a public server and not die. Because, you know, that's just how I was at Counter-Strike. Uh, so we're coming back this way now, which is cool. Um, I like this, because there's another long jump here, but there's also another gauze here. And again, this is a great spot if you got a sniper or something. You can get your ass up here and mess up. And look at that. You know, you, you can get fired at, sure, but there's still a lot of... You know, you got like a few free shots up there if no one's actually paying attention. Come down here to grab some batteries. You know, I think there's a spawn down there, so you, you might want to not stick down there too long before you get exploding, exploding to death. Uh, you can get up there, again, with the cross, which is right over there, so that's helpful. Also grab that other rocket launcher, good shit. Uh, this one you can't get onto, though. They actually had an invisible wall here, and they didn't take it away, so that sucks. What is that? Bad time, bad time, but you can get up on this one. Which is good, because, you know, it gives you some options. Come back through the murder door here. And, yeah, there's what else we got to talk about. Well, we'll go this way first. Just kind of wrap around here. Got a revolver. Again, it's a A-grade weapon here. Triple A. Well, the revolver's always, like, you know, the best weapon. Except not really, but it is. But I don't know what the best weapon is. I don't know. No gauze, though. Or, sorry, Egon. I'm really disappointed. Why the fuck do these maps not have Egons? What do people got against the Egon, damn it? You don't like back, back, like vacuum cleaner mega weapons? That's a shame. I think that's the whole map. I think, yeah, I think we wrapped around pretty much. D Dust has always been, or D Dust 2 specifically, has always been that map. I always thought it was bigger than it actually was. Like, it's actually not that big. But, you know. Well, you have a slightly slower walking speed in that game anyway, so maybe that's why. I don't know how the proportions on the Half Life player, like, model works compared to the Counter Strike model, but it might be interesting to find out. Maybe it wouldn't be. Who the fuck knows? You can show off my hot, like, you know, sniping skills. I actually streamed Counter-Strike once. Uh, back when I used to, that be, it was a thing I actually did. Um, yeah, it didn't go very well. Like, it was fun. The stream was fun, but, you know, I was just, just sucking the filthiest ass at that point. So, you know, it's pretty embarrassing. Pretty embarrassing. Maybe I can redeem myself here. Yep, that, that's about right. Yeah, that's, yep, yep. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. Come on. Further redemption? Is it possible? Come on. Oh, 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 that wasn't actually that exciting. Never mind. Maybe it is. Can I triple kill? I am just bullying what the fuck admin. Oh, oh my god. Holy shit. I am a fucking ferocious beast. I am transforming into the sexual T-Rex of ages. Holy balls. Let's do this. Nah, we don't need a fucking... No. Don't you dare, Sheriff, man. Boot camp person. Who do you think you are? That's who you are. No one. Because I can't hit you. Shit. Gotta get out of here. God. Oh. Oh. I gotta play cautiously. The zero death run incoming. Best, best, like, you know, montage of all time. This will be all over YouTube. Are you winning, uh, Void? Yeah, I am totally winning. Because we got this. Come on now. No. 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 Stop. God, I gotta fight. Where is all the health? Where is all the health? There it is. <laughs> oh, wait, you can get up there. I learned something, and that's fine. I actually already knew that. I just pretended I didn't know that. So, my feats. My feats! 
The feet! The feet! Sh shit! No! 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 Ah! And as quickly as it came, my skill has evaporated. Yep. Amazing. Well, that was, I guess, alright. Fifth time's the fucking charm. Stop trying and changing weapons. I'm trying to reload, damn it. Why is it called dust? Because we're not, why, like, I'm actually asking because I get it. It's old ruins out in the desert or like, you know, or at least old buildings. I wouldn't maybe call it ruins, but you know, it's not exactly the most modern looking place. But like, why dust? Why not called sand too? Or I know why it's called D-dust because isn't that, uh, diffuse? Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Like, you know, the game mode? I actually don't remember. Oh, oh wait. Um, but you know, the thing is, I would why not Sand 2? In an alternate universe, we're playing Sand 2 all day long, and I'm sitting here asking, uh, why is it called Dust, uh, why isn't it called Dust or something? But see, in that alternate universe, it'll actually be dusty. And it'll be snowy. And there'll be hookers and blackjack. Also, it goes without saying, too, that if your aim is really good, the gauze can be stupid dangerous here. Because think about it, charge it up, I think it's got perfect accuracy and it keeps going, so yeah, there you go. You can summon from like a mile away with that. And you can gauze jump too. So yeah, Dead Dust 2. Um, if you like D-Dust, I'm pretty certain you're gonna like it here. Unless you don't, then I can't tell you what to do.